Welcome everyone, today we are taking a look at the Winko KFP 122 Achuro Oval Diamond Sharpening Steel. I've been testing this out over the past couple months and it's become like one of my favorite sharpeners to take with me when I'm processing sheep, poultry, doing all those things in the field. Because it's so light, I'll talk more about all this in a minute. In this video I'm going to cover three parts. First I'm going to go over specifications, second I'm going to do a quick demo, and third I'll talk about functionality. So let's begin with our measurements as usual. The overall length comes in at 17 inches. The length of the honing surface comes in at 11 and 15 sixteenths of an inch, almost 12 inches. That means that the steel is usable for knives up to 10 inches in length. The surface of the steel, I would describe this as a medium. So definitely after you work with it, you'll want to smooth out the micro serrations. The steel is very light because it's got plastic core. We also have a plastic square shaped handle and a hanging loop for storage. We're out here prepping some chicken today and this is a good opportunity to show you when to use this diamond steel. As you can see, like this knife has gone so dull. Look at this, it barely slices through this chicken skin. At this point, like a regular honing steel is not gonna work, it's not gonna do anything. So we're gonna do a few swipes on this diamond steel and this should help us get back to work really quickly. Let's see. We're gonna do a couple more swipes and that should let us get back to work so we can finish up our chicken. Now let's see. Look at that. That is much better. Moving on to functionality. So to start off with the most important thing with the diamond steel, you want to make sure your honing surface is consistent. That is absolutely critical. You want to look for any bumps, any indentations, anything that stands out from the rest of the surface. Because if you pass your knife over that, you can end up with a chipped edge, you can end up with a ding, you could end up damaging your edge more than you fix it. Looking at this honing surface here, everything looks perfect. I don't see any kind of imperfection or anything that would cause issues as I'm sharpening. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is one of my favorite steels to take outside with me when I'm working on chicken, on lamb, because it's light, it's really fast, and it gives you a good enough edge on your knife that you can just keep working with pretty little downtime. And also, if it gets dropped, it's not so expensive that I'd worry about damaging it. And of course, afterwards, it's important to go over with a brush and dish soap and really scrub it down get all that grease out so it doesn't settle in between the low grains and gum up the surface. You'll notice that we actually have diamond grit right on this edge here. And that means that we can use it to sharpen our serrations over here. We can actually go in and get these serrations sharpened up. And we can even do the gut hook. Go over here. It's a little bit tricky because you want to match the angle of it perfectly. You want to do it on both sides. Now generally with a skinning knife like this, I won't follow it up with anything, but if you're using this diamond sharpener on a kitchen knife, I'll go in and smooth it out with a honing steel just to get those micro serrations out. To sum things up, excellent quality on the honing surface, very consistent, smooth, no imperfections. The steel is very lightweight, great if you're carrying it with you, and very quick to sharpen knives. Finally, lots of thanks to the folks over at Tiger Chef for sending me the steel to review. I have a link below to the item on their website where you can take a look at it if you're curious. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button below because it helps me get more videos out there and it lets you know as new ones are getting posted.